Hey, what's going on everybody? We are here to visit a legend, a icon. I guess that's, you could say that is bigger than legend maybe. I don't know, whatever is the largest word you could use, that's the word we're gonna use today. We're here to see and pay our respects to Isaac Hayes. Now, Mr. Hayes is a legend in the music industry and uh, I'm excited to visit this grave. I've been wanting to get up here for quite some time and I'm glad we finally made it. So if um, we're gonna walk around and we're gonna talk a little bit about Mr. Hayes's life and then we're gonna go find the grave. We just got here so I'm gonna try to try to find where it's at and I would like to say that if this is your first time here welcome I uh, hope you enjoy the content if you do please consider liking subscribing sharing doing all the things and if this isn't your first time here hey welcome back I hope you're digging the content if you do you know do all the things share it like it and also don't forget we have a members channel that helps me get to these places and do the things that we do so without further ado, let's start talking about Mr. Hayes and let's go look at some of the stuff around the cemetery. We are out here at Memorial Park Cemetery. When you come in, you come in up there and you hit, there's some signs that kind of point you here, some arrows, or at least that's what I, I saw when we got here. And I pulled up over at this thing. I don't know what this really is. It's like a reflecting, uh, I don't really know what type of, it's almost like a, a reflecting pool and they, it says they have fish food that you can get free and you can come and feed the fish, but I don't know if there's any fish or not. It's a really different, unique approach to something in a cemetery. I even hear music, but as of course the wind's blowing, as always and so bear with me if the wind does not want to cooperate so the Abrams Oak from 1935 it says okay the field yeah, let's see if I can get it all in there for y'all the field of McPleath, the trees in the cave at the end of the field were purchased by Abraham. Oh, it's from Genesis 23. I got you. I got you. Okay. So a little bit about Mr. Hayes. Let's walk over here and check this thing out first. So Isaac was born in Covington, Tennessee. His mother died at a very, when he was young, and then his father abandoned the family. He was raised by his maternal grandparents. And at the age of five, Isaac began singing at his local church. He even was self-taught on the piano, the organ, the flute, and the saxophone. That's how you know you got a prodigy, right? We were talking about how he was an icon. If you can self-teach yourself how to play all that, that's how you know. He began his Let's see, the cave of McFleet. I don't know if there's anything in here. Uh, it looks like at one time there could have been something, but yeah, there you go. It looks like there's some kind of Roman architecture in there, huh? So yeah, he began his recording career in the early 60s as a session musician for Axe recorded by the Memphis-based Stax Records. He later wrote a string of hit songs with songwriting partner David Porter. Included, You Don't Know Like I Know, Soul Man, When Something Is Wrong With My Baby, and Hold On, I'm Coming. In early 71, Hayes composed music for the soundtrack for the film Shaft. He appeared in a cameo role as the bartender. 
is really cool. You can even sit down. The title theme would become a worldwide hit single. Everybody should know Shaft. And spent two weeks at number one on the Billboard Hot 100. He won an Academy Award for Best Original Song for the theme Shaft. And in addition was nominated for Best or Original Dramatic Score also. He's formed his own label, Hot Buttered Soul. You gotta love that name, right? Which released its product through ABC Records. His new album in 1975's Chocolate Chip saw Hayes embrace the disco sound with the title track and lead single, What in the World? What in the world have we walked into? I can't turn around. So this would be Hayes' last album to chart in the top 40 for many years later in the year the all-instrumental disco Connection album fully embraced disco. What in the world have we found? Okay, so we're going to get back to Mr. Isaac Hayes in a second, but what? Look how beautiful. I know there's an echo. I'm going to try not to talk too much. Wow. Now this. See, this is why we come do what we do, guys. I'm glad you're along for this. So we could experience this together for the first time. This was done as a crucifixion or reminiscent in 1936. Try to zoom in on the name so you can see what these say. This is the uh, Transfiguration. Wow. Who would have thought? Jesus in the temple. This was done in 1939. I'll zoom in on that real quick. There you go. And here's the nativity scene. There's baby Jesus in the lamb. How about that? The three wise men. Joseph and Mary. How about that? alone there's even more to do I guess this walks up to the top of the grotto but in 76 the album cover of Juicy Fruit featured Hayes in a pool with naked women and spawned the title track single and the classic Storm is Over 
Later, the same year, the Groovathon album featured the singles Rock Me Easy Baby and the title track. However, with all these albums, were regarded as solid efforts. Hayes was no longer selling large numbers. He and his wife were forced. He and his wife were forced into bankruptcy in '76, as they over they owed over six million dollars. By the end of bankruptcy proceedings in '77, Hayes had lost his home, much of his property, and the rights to all future royalties earned. In 95, Hayes appeared as a Las Vegas minister, impersonating himself in the comedy series The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. He launched a comeback on Virgin Label, and in 95, with Branded, an album of new material that earned impressive sales figures, as well as positive reviews from critics who proclaimed it a return to form. Now let's try to get back over there, and let's try to find Mr. Hayes' grave, shall we? After Hayes started making his comeback tour, he joined the founding cast of Comedy Central's animated TV series South Park, which is where I knew him from originally growing up. Hayes provided the character, or the voice for the character Chef, which who can forget the classic song, Chocolate Salty Balls. It was one of my favorites growing up. His income was sharply reduced after leaving South Park. There followed announcements that he would be touring and performing, but, you know, things happen, right? On August 10th of 2008, 10 days before his 66th birthday, Hayes was found unresponsive in his home, just east of Memphis, as reported by the Shelby County Sheriff's Office. There we go. They listed the cause of death as a reoccurring stroke. He then looked down upon the earth and found your star. And there's some more if you guys want to keep reading. I'll hold on to it tight for just a second. My love, your wife, Mrs. Hayes. So yeah, that's it right there. The grave of a legend. so you can see all the stuff yeah so that's that's the grave of Isaac Hayes and I tell you what um, we've got a couple more that I want to see so hey if you just came for Isaac Hayes thanks for watching maybe you could stay a little bit longer and I'm going to take you to somebody that played with the Blues Brothers. And we'll see who else we run across while we're here. Because it's a pretty cool cemetery. And I was excited. We found the grotto. So I don't know what else we're going to find while we're here. So we'll see you in a second. Okay. So if you've made it this far and you want to see the Blues Brother guy. Donald Dunn. Donald Duck Dunn. Now if you don't know that name. You will know his picture when I put it up because in the Blues Brothers he played for years playing on bass he was really good at what he did and he passed away in 2012 he fell off his tour bus and sustained injuries and he never come back from it and he's right up there right. you can't even really see it it's hard to see it right 
Maybe I can zoom in. I'll take a picture and put it right here. But yeah, part of the Blues Brothers is here too. So that's, that's the tour today up here in Memphis. We're gonna go look at some more places and see what else we can make a video out of. There's a uh, mass grave up here that I wanna go check out and maybe in the coming up weeks or so, we'll do that video. So until then, thanks for watching. If you like the content, like, subscribe, share, do all the things, the channel's growing like crazy. And I can't thank you guys enough and you never know what you're gonna find on the back roads.